Now I've mentioned departments a few times, so let's move on to step six, setting up your departments. Okay, departments is also under the user management menu here, and you can see that there, it's in the departments. So click that button and you'll see all the departments I've set up for my big church site. Now, again, I'm a super admin, so I can see everything that's going on. I can see links, I can click on anybody's name and go to their profile, or I can just um, go to see who the managers are, open their profiles. I can view the actual department and open it up. So let's say I wanna know more about the coffee ministry of Big Church. No worries, I'll just view the ministry. Oh, cool, it's the Big Church coffee ministry. These are the managers and these are the members. So that's everybody that's in the Big Church coffee ministry department or team, if you like. You can edit that easily enough. You can just put in some required training, like a volunteer induction. You can add people to the managers. Uh, you could take people away, just decide you don't want them there anymore. You can add more people into the team. It's all very simple and then hit the submit button and it all changes there for you in real time. Go ahead and set up any departments you need. So this is kind of like any group of people that does a static role in your church or organization. So you can see here for a big church, we have brothers, the men's ministry, if you like, the coffee ministry, the elders, the kids' church, the pastors, the women's, the worship, the young adults, and the youth. Now you can add as many departments as you like. Just really set this up to serve you, your church, or your organization. So once you've gone ahead and added your departments, something I should mention here is that because particularly in a church, but sometimes also in business, uh, departments change all the time. They close down, they start up, you know, you might start a new ministry and then it closes shortly later. Something that's been running for years might, might close down. It's the nature of the beast, things change. So you can always close a department. So just edit it, go to view it, and then hit this delete department. Don't panic, it's not gonna delete it forever. Let's say, you know, a whole bunch of men leave your church and you don't need a men's ministry anymore. Okay, well, that's fine. You can just close the department by deleting it, but it's not gonna delete it forever. It just archives it to take it out of the kind of active content of the site. And you can hit the view deleted departments and there it is, the brothers and the young adults have both been deleted. So for whatever reason, we don't need those departments anymore and we've just put them aside. Now, obviously they're still there as historic data because you may need to know what happened in the past in your church or your organization. So nothing's ever really deleted in RiskEasy. It's only ever archived so that it's still stored there in case you need it in the future. And you can always restore it by simply hitting the restore button. It'll ask you if you want to, sh if you're sure. And there you go, the Brothers Ministry is back online and happening again. Obviously, this all needs to mirror reality. So do what you need it to do, set it up the way it works for you. Riskeasy is built to be customized to reflect what you need. And basically that's it for departments. Once you have set up your departments, the important thing of course is to put people into them. So you can edit and just add people like I did before and just whack a whole bunch of people in there. Or you can actually go the long way and go to someone's individual profile. So like here we have um, Gary Winberger, let's say he's in the pastor's department. We'll go to his profile, edit it and decide that we need him in the women's department as well for some reason. So there he is, he's been added and we submit that. Now, if we go back to the departments, women's ministry has Gary Winberger in it. So there's kind of two ways you can add them. This is the quick way to add people from the list. But if you want to do, if you're already editing someone's profile and you're like, oh yeah, I got to put them in their department, just do it the way you're there, no stress. Okay, congratulations on completing step six, set up department.